-hmm. Why did you want to do the origin of the phrase, my bad? Um, because I really hate that phrase. Hello, welcome to some more extra stuff. I wanted to talk to you guys about some extra origin stories that we rejected. One of them was Matt's suggestion. I rejected it very cold-heartedly. Yeah, uh, rejected. Yeah. It was the origin of the phrase, my bad. Why don't you like it? Because I don't think it makes much sense when you say my bad, and it sounds disingenuous when you do say it. It's, it's sort of a bad. cop out. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. you spill a, a glass of milk and you're like, oh, my bad. It's not like I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, I made a mistake. It's like a, it's a way of skipping over that. And yeah. Just being like, yeah, you, my bad. I'm aware that I did it, and uh, that's it. Or the first time that I can remember uh, hearing it was in the movie Clueless. Alicia Silverstone's character, her saying it, and it became this fad that like everybody else followed along and started just saying that. Yeah, I don't think that's the case though. I don't see Alicia Silverstone as a pioneer of, of our lexicon. But Clueless was a pretty that, popular movie. Did I use the le word lexicon correctly? I think so. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Here's why I rejected your, your uh, proposal for this story. Right. Because I looked up what the actual origin of my bad was. And it's just, there's not really a story, it's just Eh, here's what happened, and that's that's it, you know? But isn't that the way everything is? No. <laughs> I don't even remember what the origin is now, so let's look it up. Okay. My bad is an American idiom that was made popular by basketball players in playground games in the 1970s and 1980s. It usually means my fault, my mistake, uh, I apologize, or mea culpa. Yeah, I say mea culpa <laughs> instead of my bad, yeah. usually. Its use in the 1995 film Clueless greatly increased the phrase's popularity. Okay, so here's this is why I didn't want to use this as a story because you look all you needed to do was do a Wikipedia search <laughs> and you found the answer. How did it make the jump from the basketball players to the film Clueless, which I don't think has any basketball in it at all, does it? Yes. Maybe that screenwriter uh, played basketball. Okay, maybe there is more of a story here. Yeah, no, I mean, you know, yeah. Maybe we get we got to talk to the screenwriter of Clueless. Clueless is loosely based on Jane Austen's novel Emma. Amy Heckerling, and she grew up in the Bronx in New York. So, oh. or she was born there. Uh, yeah. So maybe she grew up around basketball players. Now that I think about it, this would have been a great story if we could get an interview with, with Amy Hackerling. Yeah. Let's try to get an interview with Amy <laughs> Hackerling. Let's do it. And see why she wrote My Bad, or if she did. Maybe Alicia Silverstone just said it. No, she no, she says it a lot, though. Maybe uh, she only says it once, but it stood out so much. She said it with such gravitas. <laughs> yeah. It seemed like it was said more That's often. the first time gravitas <laughs> was used to describe Alicia Silverstone. <laughs> Are we going to try to find Amy Hackerling? Yeah, I think we should someday. Actually, is she still alive? <laughs> yes, still what? alive. She's single, Got fellas. Single. She's single, fellas. All right, well, I guess we've learned something today. We've learned that I shouldn't listen to myself, and I should listen to Matt more. What, is, is David coming over? David is coming over. David has an interesting story about the first time he heard the phrase, my bad, and we are going to show that through the magic of jump cut right now. Uh, David has a much more uh, sunnier view of my bad than I do. He does. I think he actually likes the phrase. Matt, uh, let me do the jump cut. Okay, sorry. Jump cut now. Now, I never saw Clueless in 1995. However, I do actually remember the first time I heard the phrase my bad because I thought it was so clever and funny and Kasonic was so radical. So, this is from 1999, a Dreamcast Conveniently, commercial. we have a laptop. Ready to go. Here we go. There what? it is. Yeah, there My it bad, is. Sonic. Uh, so, uh, when I first saw that, I thought it was hilarious and edgy. Sega was the more edgy system. They were. Sega did, Nintendo. but Nintendo, as they used to say. Yeah, right. But I, I don't I don't hate the term. I kind of like it. And I, I actually do say it still when I feel like I've done something wrong or bad. And I, I'm actually sincere when I say my bad. You've kind of ruined the point of this video. Mm. My bad. Oh, I'm serious, too.